When a house has a 1.75 million pound price tag, you do expect it to be pretty stylish. Well, this five bedroom house is exactly that. Over the estuary from Lytham is Southport, where this seafront pad sits comfortably on Millionaire's Row. The owners saw the potential of this plot and transformed a three-bedroom bungalow into a five-bedroom, five-bathroom, Canadian post and bean mansion with more than 320 square metres of style. The house overlooks the Royal Birkdale Golf Course, which was recently voted the best in Britain, and I've got the keys, so we're grabbing the chance to check out how the other half lives in this area. There you go. It's heavy doors. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, did you expect that from the outside? No. Absolutely not. Yeah, it doesn't look like it would be like this inside, does it? No, no, absolutely not. I feel like we're in a different country, actually. It's the first ever post-beam Canadian house to be built. So mm. all these beams here are worth a lot of money. They've been mm. imported and they increase a lot of value onto the house. Mm. But it's beautiful. Yeah. It's like the balcony. We've got the high ceilings as yeah. well. I do want to see more. Yeah. Over here, we've got the dining room. Yes, yeah, very nice. The furnishings are amazing, very different. Mm. Oh, it's got a real safari theme in here, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. Which is really funny because you've just got Southport outside. I know. <laughs> I'll tell you what I like. I like the fires at both ends. So you've got the fire when you're dining as well. I mean, for me, the two things that draw my eyes are fire and the sea. And it's got them both, so oh, it's nice. Tick both lists there. Yeah. Well, look, why don't we have a look upstairs and see if there's anything else that appeals to you? Yeah. Since the 70s, timber frame construction has seen a revival in the States and Canada, but it's quite new over here. The beauty of this property is that the timbers are covered on the exterior, so it blends in with Southport, and the warm wooden interior is a welcome surprise. Now, the owner created this gallery balcony so that you can really enjoy the space of the high ceilings. And from over here, you get to see that view again. It's great, isn't it? Oh, that's amazing. How would you fancy this as your master <laughs> bedroom? Wow. Oh, can we afford this? <laughs> <laughs> it's great because you can lie in bed, you've got that cathedral ceiling, mm. and then if it was a nice sunny day, you could wake up and just come straight out and look at the sea. Oh, yes, your tea out here in the mornings would be ideal. Or your champagne in the evenings? Yes. Well, for yeah. me, it would be a beer in the evening study. This would be, yeah. uh, this would be good. And yeah. watch the golf. Watch the golf as it's ideal. Yeah. <gasps> Plenty going on, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This is your ideal room, isn't it? Jenny, this is it. This is my party kitchen. The light's amazing. It's beautiful. I want it. Yeah, it's so nice and light as yeah. well. Yeah, I love it. Now, this programme's all about fantasy homes by the sea. Do you think that this property falls into that category? It definitely does, Jenny. I feel like we're in Africa or somewhere. It's, uh, it's an amazing style and actually it's changed how I feel about contemporary living. It's very brave, it's very different and it feels really homely. I love it. And after the initial shock when you walk in and it's so different to what your expectations are, you really do go to like it, don't you, a lot? You feel more comfortable as the, the longer you're in the house. Mm. It really is nice. It almost makes me want to work harder. <laughs> almost, almost. Yeah, I wish I'd married a footballer. <laughs> oh, no. that is just not fair. 